So apparently because we have declared uh, text rectangle inside graph lib, obviously we need to uh, specify this namespace. So I can make it by uh, saying uh, in this implementation file using uh, namespace graph lib, this namespace, I think that should be um, the, uh, the reason why this uh, type of error message shows up. So we're just going to say build. And another problem that it indicates, yeah, somehow I've lost an int. And perhaps it's also missing. Yeah, apparently I, I misplaced some function declaration. And I just need to specify that it begins with a point. Right here, point, point x, y. Yeah, just my typing did something incorrect over there. So it's built again. Okay, so this is fine. Uh, let's run it and see what kind of behavior we get when it executes. So does um, it uh, creates a window like this with a certain dimension, right? So this is our, our main program. Let's just take a look. Okay, uh, we can resize it if we want to. And uh, so it creates a window. make everything visible. So it creates a window uh, at a certain position on the screen. Um, and then it provides the window title, which is right here, final project. It constructs a string that says hello. Uh, then constructs the rectangle with the relative, with the position relative to the top left corner of the window. And it's taking the word, the, the length of this word, which is like five characters, and multiplies them by 10 that this is done for the width. Right, so this is the width of our rectangle. Uh, and uh, it's basically assuming that each character requires at least uh, 10 pixels. So these here are pixels. It requires uh, 10 pixels in order to be, uh, uh, to be like, you know, uh, a rectangle that accommodates that many characters. And we're also assuming that the current font that we will be using in this rectangle uh, will be 20 pixels uh, uh, high, okay? And then the word that we use to construct the text. Then you can see that we set the fill color to white. And we're also making the text inside this box invisible by setting uh, by calling a hide member function. Then we, once configured, attach it to the window as we discussed. And then we just simply go wait for the button. And at this stage, we're waiting for this button to be clicked uh, so that the, the rectangle has become visible. And then we uh, uh, change, so then we do a couple of uh, changes. Uh, we set the fill color to green and we set the, uh, the text uh, to visible color. Okay, so when we click next, you see the word hello now appears and uh, it fits uh, nicely with these uh, assumptions that I made about the width and the height. 
it, fin it fits um, um, uh, relatively well into the uh, into the box. And of course, we continue to wait for the button. And when we click next, uh, everything is gone. So we exit our main function, and uh, the program is ending. So this um, idea of the text rectangle um, is um, um, is what we um, uh, is what we need uh, uh, to be able to proceed with the rest of this homework assignment. So just a highlight of things that have changed to fix some of the compile errors was that I am just saying inside text rectangle.cpp that um, uh, let's add this uh, using uh, declaration, uh, using namespace graph lib. So every time there is a name that's encountered, it should be looked up inside this namespace, um, which, which is where it, it's coming from. Uh, additionally, inside the uh, rectangle header file, my other um, adjustment was that I also added uh, um, the, the standard uh, library facilities uh, header file from the book library, which allows me to use uh, strings uh, without a standard library uh, namespace name qualifier. So basically, everything is uh, easy to use and everything is included, so I don't have to worry much about uh, other um, standard library um, header uh, includes after uh, adding this. So I added this uh, to the uh, to the header file, and I added this declaration uh, to the uh, implementation file. And I also changed uh, some somewhere here. There was a missing semicolon, um, which we can locate in the handout. So this is a bug that was uh, part of the handout, and we can probably easily locate it in the original right here. Set font type is missing semicolon in our handout. So sorry about that, but that's something that we were able to fix. Okay, so proceeding to the next uh, part of this uh, project. Something that's called the game class, right? So we're, we're, going to, we, we're going to start thinking about the organization of this program with respect to like a, a, a sequence of steps, uh, proceedings inside the game-like environment. So we're going to work on a class that's named game. All right, uh, so um, <clears throat> um, basically um, what we did in our main function so far, we had some basic uh, uh, test unit for a brand new text rectangle class, which is created, uh, shows text, uh, and then everything disappears. So the first uh, thing that I will do is uh, I'll just preserve this file by saying uh, file, uh, save this file as, and I'll save it with a different name. I can name it, um, I can name this file um, uh, main um, uh, rectangle or text. Text uh, rectangle test. Okay, so this is like a program that tests the rectangle. Uh, if I need to come back to it, I can always uh, use it. And I will save it. So now this file has been uh, saved under a different name. So I will immediately close it because I don't want to change it and instead go right back to. Um, uh, our solution explorer and reopen the main file, the original main file, which is, by the way, called main GUI. So let's update this uh, uh, comment right at the top. And our handout says to us that uh, why don't we change it entirely? 
uh, to something completely different. Okay, so once again, oh, it's, it was too fast. Okay, so we'll just uh, take it from here to here. Okay, so the entire implementation uh, copied, right? Copy this thing and uh, paste it into the main uh, main GUI. Okay, I don't understand why I have it open two times. Okay, so let's do it one more time, like this. Okay, so uh, yeah, um, so we'll take it from. Just double check. Um, I'll take it from here, I suppose. Yeah. But highlight the entire main function and delete it, right? So this is the only thing that's remaining and copy and paste like this. Okay, so let's examine what is happening in this new, um, in this new version of the uh, main uh, function. 